Okay, let's see what you can do with those volcanoes. Okay. Here, you can do it. Science fair. Terrible. Ah, don't worry. Come on, follow me. Wow, what is this place? My science lab. Here we have float or sink. Will they float or will they sink? Float. Oh, one of them sinking and one of them floating. Huh? They're both the same. That's because there's rocks in this one, and those weigh more than water. Ha, <laughs> you tricked me. Now, which one will float and which one will sink? Here, pull them. Mm, they're both heavy. Say they have a sink. Ooh. I don't get it. The apple is bigger than the egg. It's supposed to sink. That's because the egg is denser than the apple. That's why it sinks. Now, we have grapes and a ball. Which one do you think will sink? <laughs> the grapes. Let's see. Oh, that's because the ball is hollow, which helps it float. And the grapes, they're more solid, so they sink. This is fun! Here, we can make magnetic slime. First, we need to spread these iron filings into the slime. Remember that all of these experiments have been performed under adult supervision. Okay, the magnetic slime is done. Let's test it out. This is so cool! Here, have a try. Thank you, Uncle. There you go, you're getting the hang of it. See how it just all sucks towards the magnet? Now let's watch it sink into the slime. See how the slime eats the magnet? Now all the slime will go all around the magnet because it's all being pulled towards it. This is cool, but it's not exciting. In that case, let's go this way. Okay. This time, Mentos and soda. Let's go outside. Ready? Yeah! Let's do it! Woo -hoo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Was that awesome or what? Yeah! Can we do it again? Let's go! Woo! Woo -hoo. That was so cool, Uncle! What else do you have? Come on, let's go! Here we have density levels. What is that? Just watch. Here we have a bolt. The grape is densest, and so it'll sink the lowest. The cap, slightly less dense, but it will still sink under the oil. But it'll float on top here. As for the sponge, it'll always float. No matter how much you move it around and soak in the oil, it'll keep floating. Wow, now that's science. What is that, Uncle? Nothing much, just some old material. I got an idea. Can you help? Yeah, of course. Okay. Here we go. go. Ta-da! All we need to do is put this pepper into the water. Now with my finger, I'm gonna add some soap. Watch this. Wow! Whoa, that's pretty cool. All right, Caden, it's your turn. Huh? Come Are you ready? Yeah! yeah. Oh, look! Look! Oh, Is that what you're Okay, thank you. There we go. Whoa, that's so cool! Yep. You deserve first place! Yeah! Right in here. 
Yeah, let's read. Hmm. It's bright again? Huh? It's getting dark again. Let's go, Jenny. Aunt Amy, Aunt Amy. Huh? The lights keep going out. Really? But it's still bright in here. Hmm. Not for long. Huh? See, Auntie? It's getting dark again. <laughs> I got this. Huh? Now we have light again. Hello, Auntie. With this light I have right here. And that light. Huh? The light works without connecting to electricity? <laughs> huh? Yeah. <laughs> the light works with solar energy. Sunlight goes through the solar panel right here. So you see, the light bulb doesn't need electricity. Hmm. That's not interesting. Whoa, that's so interesting. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> My magic doesn't work with solar energy? <clears throat> I'll be right back. Do you know where solar energy comes from? In the sun. Correct! Yay! <laughs> solar energy? The sun? Huh? The light is out again, Auntie! <laughs> I got this. Huh? Where are we? We are in the land of wind power! What? Where is this place? Oh, the giant turbine! Before, Auntie. The wind helps the turbines spin around and generate energy. Wow, but I still don't understand clearly. That's okay. Let's go back and I'll explain to you. Huh? Why is it right again? Because the wind collected energy, which lights up these bulbs. Here's another one. Whoa. More light? <laughs> what is this, Auntie? This is a model of a wind turbine, like we went to before. How does it work? As the wind spins the turbine, it generates electricity. If you look over here, you see the light. Wow, that's amazing! That's not that amazing. Ooh, so cool! Huh? Your magic doesn't work with wind energy? Kinetic energy is the energy of motion. As it moves, it generates energy, which is electricity. Wow, now I understand. <laughs> There's no point in understanding that. Huh? The lights went out again, Auntie. Yeah. <laughs> now I can go to sleep. <laughs> hmm. Ah. Okay, let's go outside and go camping. There's lights there. Ta-da! Welcome to the best campsite. Whoa. Huh? Where did the light come from, Auntie? These are solar lights too. I'll charge my solar light. Wow. The power of the sun will go into the panel and it will generate electricity to light up the bulb. Awesome. Solar energy is amazing. Wow, Auntie, this is really cool. The solar lights even work when the sun isn't here because they generate over time. Wow. wow. It's even bright here in the backyard where it's supposed to be dark. Solar energy is so cool. These energies provide no gas emission and it reduces most types of air pollution. Wow. Wow, solar and wind energy is so interesting. Auntie, can we have some s'mores now? Sure. I want some s'mores too. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Can I join you? Camping is fun, and I want some s'mores. Uh, yeah, sure. Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle little star. How oh, I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Bye. No one's here to help. I can help. I'm larger. No good, Andrea. Ah! I'm Rubble. Oh no! F for you, Andrea. Aww. Ah! I have water. Not again. Another F for you. Help! 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 Be my help writer? Yes, Marshall, I need your help. Way to go, Marshall. A plus for you. <gasps> I want to get your like 
you? You need to be in shape and physically strong. Ugh. Are you ready, Andrea? I'm ready. Let's go. So let's do science. We need soda and mentos. <laughs> Go to timeout. Now let's do the experiment. Put a mento in this tooth. Ready? One, two, three, go! Now let's experiment with sand. Put the sand in this cup of water. And I have more sand. Yellow, red, and pink. My turn. Green. Let's see what happens. Wow! Ooh, sand is not wet. Ooh! Now let's mix them. Ooh! Ooh! Wow! Ooh! The last one. Let's make electricity with movement. Try again, Andrea. Yeah. Better, Andrea. Now let's go work as a team. Okay. First, we're gonna do it alone. With this sticker, you need to score a goal. Right here. Here you go, Andrea. Thank you. Almost. Try again. Okay, to be a superhero, we need to work as a team. Here you go. Walk forward three steps. Two steps to your right. One step to the left. One to the right. Up a little bit. Right there, go. Go! My kitty cat, help, help! Somebody needs help, let's go. My, my kitty cat. Good job, Paw Patrol. Okay, Andrea, here's your new mask. Now you're Rubble. Welcome to the team. Wow. Bye. I lost. How about this? Is it going to pop? Not going to pop. It's going to pop. Oh, I lost again. How about this one? Is it going to pop? A lot of nails. It's definitely going to pop. Maybe it won't pop this time. Hmm, we'll see. It's not magic, it's science. Eva, since you guessed it right, you can play in the balloon house. Yay! Wow! Yay! It's not even fun. Now let's move on to another experiment with balloons and pepper. First, I rub the balloon on my hair. I hold it close to the pepper. When you rub your hair with a balloon, you're moving tiny little things called electrons from your hair onto the balloon. Your hair loses electrons, making it positively charged, and the balloon becomes negatively charged. That's called static electricity! Let me try! Now let's move on to another balloon experiment. Now for our next experiment, we're gonna guess if the skewer will pop the balloon. Oh no! 
Remember, always do experiments with adult supervision. Let's see. Whoa! Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How is it possible? <laughs> Let me explain. Imagine your balloon is like a big stretchy spaghetti. When you blow air into the balloon, you're asking the spaghetti to stretch out to make room for the air. Now think about the top and bottom part of the balloon, where you tied it and where it looks darker. Over there, the spaghetti pieces aren't stretching as much. They're more relaxed because they're not holding as much air. So if you gently push something sharp, like a skewer, you're asking some of the spaghetti pieces to move aside without letting go of each other's hands. They can do this because they're not stretching too much and have room to move. That's why the skewer can go through without popping the balloon. Wow, that's amazing. How did the balloon not pop in the first experiment, Uncle? If you push the balloon into one pointy thing like a nail, it's like putting all the pressure into one tiny little spot. And pop! The balloon can't handle it and it bursts. So what happens if we have more nails, Uncle? When there are more nails, the pressure gets spread between all the nails. It makes it harder to pop the balloon. So what happens if we have a lot of nails, Uncle? Well, when we have a lot of nails, the pressure will spread out between every single nail. And here also. So it makes it harder to pop the balloon. Oh, now I know. See? <sighs> Popping that balloon made me tired. The same thing happens when you step on a lot of eggs. They won't break. Ooh, I want to try. Me too, me too. All right, go ahead. Ooh. It's not breaking. The eggs won't break because Ellie's weight is spread between a bunch of the eggs. My turn, my turn. Yeah. We learned a lot today. Now you two can go play at the balloon house. Yeah.